We're here on the northern part of the Sea of Cortez in Mexican waters. Here lives the most endangered marine mammal in the world, called the Vaquita Marina. The Vaquita Marina is dying because of gillnets that are set on the bottom of the sea. The President of Mexico, along with the Secretary of the Environment, has taken this on as a personal goal. So I know that they really want to save Vaquita. One by one, Sea Shepherd's drone catches poachers in the act. They want to fish for totoaba. They know it's out there. They know the environmental problems, but they still want to because they know how much they could make. They feel like they're being punished by the government. Gillnets are made to trap totoaba. The totoaba is also an endangered fish. They kill this huge two meter fish just to get this swim bladder. It's been studied that the swim bladder is, has no medicinal properties. In China, the swim bladder can go up to $20,000 per kilo. I came here first with the Martin Sheen, our sailing boat, just to assess the situation. There was no even space for the ship to go through the nets. And with our presence, the illegal fishermen have to hide those nets. We've been using drones to find the poachers, to report their activity, and to understand how they work at night. We are also witnessing live animals, dead animals, and everything we see we try to share with the marine scientist community from uh, Mexico. We've been speaking to a lot of marine scientists that have been helping us also to get information that we need to be able to save some species. Like the day that the whale got entangled, I immediately called people that are experienced in entanglement and they drove me through the steps that needed to be done to release the whale. Now we're launching Operation Milagro 3. We're going to have this amazing ship coming. It's the famous Sam Simon. And I'm really looking forward to all the great work that we can do with that ship in collaboration with the Farley Moat. We're working with the Navy and with Profepa, the environmental attorney for Mexican waters. We spot illegal fishermen, tell their position, record their activity, and then we work with the authorities so they can arrest them. It's amazing that a government is willing to work with an organization to save a species. And the most amazing part is that they are letting their navy get involved and use all their power to like, go against extinction. For me, this is one of the most magical part of this campaign, is the fact that we're all working together to save the Vaquita Marina. The more ships we are in the sea, the less chances the poachers have to go out. The more eyes we are on the sea, the more we see their illegal activity and we can report. And that's why the alliance with the Mexican government uh, and working with the Navy has been really successful. We are going to keep going and for that we really need your support because the goal is really to uh, save the Vaquita Marina and to protect this area for all the poaching. It's important to remember that it's not only the Vaquita Marina that is dying on those nets, but also white sharks, rays, lots of fish, and the totoaba is an endangered fish too. Our presence here and us removing all those nets, it's really saving a lot of lives.